Hello, my name is Leslie Powell. I'm the Dean of the College of Public Policy here at Hamad bin Khalifa University. Our Masters of Public Policy has as its key feature a capstone project which is worked on by small groups of students under the supervision of one of our faculty members. In addition, that group of students works with a partner organization. The project is designed around a real world problem uh, generated by the partner and the faculty and the students in collaboration. And through that process of research, discussion, engagement, working with the partner, the students will find not necessarily solutions, but they'll grapple with something that actually is happening in the real world. I personally think this is a terrific aspect of our program. It's something that our students enjoy immensely, even though it's difficult, challenging, but ultimately really rewarding. So I invite all of you to think about this as uh, something that's different, something that's entrepreneurial, something that's innovative, and something that will really challenge you and raise your, your abilities and your capacities when you come here and experience our program. My name is Ahmed Al Hashmi. Uh, I'm currently in the final year of uh, my master's degree with the College of Public Policy of uh, Hamad bin Khalifa University. Uh, the focus area of my capstone research is uh, uh, actually dedicated to uh, smart contract implementation within the insurance sector and the possible uh, risks uh, that can arise from uh, uh, such an implementation and how can regulators in the insurance industry identify these risks. I consider this to be an important policy because of the impact of the insurance sector on the whole financial industry. Uh, we all remember what happened before in 2008 when we had the financial crisis and it is really very important to have the necessary mitigation uh, tools and control measures in order to avoid such a catastrophe. At the same time, there is a lot of innovation in the sector of smart contracts and blockchain technology. And I believe there is an added value for regulators to investigate that in order to enhance the insurance products they are offering to the market. It was really very interesting. Unfortunately, the area is still uh, in terms of uh, research and development in the early stages. Uh, there is some academic papers and some pilot projects, but that is very limited. I think in the following two or three years this is going to be changing. Uh, we have some insurance uh, companies such as AXA is investing in this area and launching their own uh, projects. Uh, at the same time, I had the privilege with working with the QFCRA uh, as our, our partner with HBKU in, in, in this research and they have been very helpful. Uh, especially Mr. John, he was very helpful to me throughout the process in providing uh, either uh, interviews or the necessary uh, paperwork that would allow me to investigate this subject further and further. My future plan is also to hopefully be able to uh, pursue further uh, academic development, hopefully uh, maybe pursue a PhD in the subject matter. I think this uh, paper will hopefully will add value to our regulators in order for them to have at least a foundation to, to build on and further investigate the possibility of smart contracts in the insurance sector. Uh, furthermore, I think this paper will also uh, help me investigate uh, this subject matter later on, uh, either in the PhD path or hopefully to uh, write another academic paper that will also give more insight on the subject matter. My name is Aidana. I'm the second year student at the College of Public Policy in Hamad bin Khalifa University. Innovation and technological progress are relevant topic in any area of research and this novelty is the main attraction. At the moment in Qatar, like in many other countries, there is no legal framework for blockchain regulation. I think our job as a future policy makers is to provide evidence for innovation through research. For example, the aim of my research project, specifically Capstone project, is to provide um, evidence and provide policy recommendations for implementing blockchain technology to provide financial crime through technical analysis, through analysis of existing laws and also representations of problems and challenges. 
My partner organization is Qatar Financial Center Regulatory Authority. They work with many public uh, entities and professional organizations on the joint uh, effort for strengthening Qatar's legal framework. So I think working with such uh, partner is a huge support in terms of gathering information and data and also giving the confidence in your work. I think all of us have life passions. For me, it's corruption. I was born and raised in Kyrgyzstan, country where corruption permits in any sphere of activity, education, health care, business, and even the social sphere. So I sincerely hope that this experience gained from the Capstone project and general knowledge which I obtained at the College of Public Policy will help me uh, to achieve my goals. Hello, my name is Asma Abedwan. I'm a second year student at the College of Public Policy at Hamad bin Khalifa University. The focus area of my capstone is on labors. My title is International Pressure and Domestic Policy uh, Reforms, the case of Qatar uh, and the World Cup 2022. I'm trying in my paper to uh, find or try to understand the connection between international pressure uh, and Qatar's labor policies and domestic uh, policy reforms occurring af after the awarding of FIFA. My paper sheds the light on the role of international organizations and human rights activists in transferring Qatar's labor policies and best practices to Qatar. I think this project is really an interesting project in the field of public policy uh, because uh, as policy students we are uh, interested in investigating how like uh, policies are designed, formulated and put in place. It is also important because in this globalized world it is almost impossible for countries to formulate their local policies without, without looking at their like uh, international uh, dimensions and uh, interactions. Uh, no country can isolate itself from the international community, it's also because policy making, in short, um, is no longer determined like uh, domestically. This capstone project is a very enriching experience because it's very unique. I had the chance to um, had interviews with like uh, uh, ministries like the Ministry of Labor and uh, some NGOs like the Human Rights Committee for uh, for the World Cup, also for the Supreme Committee, and we had I had the chance to get different perspectives and different matters related to human rights and labor policies in Qatar. I'm also developing my critical thinking and I'm seeing the world actually from like different angles and different perspectives. So my future plan is to stay in Qatar and work in one of the NGOs or governmental agencies or ministries on social policy areas or specializations and I think the, the capstone project was really a good practice for me because now I have like uh, the skills like um, the analytical skills needed for looking at these social policies. My name is Halal Attar. I'm a master's student here at Hamad bin Khalifa University and I've completed my master's in public policy. After exploring the use of social protection and welfare states, I came to realize that it's a tool used to ensure health insurance, education and income security. Um, so I decided to explore the use of social protection in an area where there's an occupation and a blockade that has been there for 14 years. And so my capstone project has to do with exploring the use of social protection in the Gaza Strip. What I found interesting after completing my capstone project was that social protection in Gaza is more assistive and preventative rather than being promotional and transformative. And so what that means is that social protection is used as a tool to offer food, aid, water and shelter. However, in the majority of the world, in welfare states, it's used to ensure income security, health insurance and it's used to transform society into a much better society. After completing my master's in public policy, uh, I became very much interested in the studies of social development. And so I am hoping to pursue a PhD in social development and continue my career in research. Hello, my name is Prue Morris. I am the Managing Director of Policy, Legal and Enforcement at the Qatar Financial Centre Regulatory Authority. Our collaboration with the Hamad bin Khalifa University College of Public Policy 
began in October 2020 when we signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the College. Since that time, there has been wonderful cooperation between the Regulatory Authority and the College of Public Policy. The Regulatory Authority um, has a program called the Almaza Program, and what it wants to focus on is um, the education of Katsuri nationals within our workplace, providing them work experience that is meaningful within the financial sector and within regulation. With the opening of the College of Public Policy, my team, the policy team within the regulator, was able to provide um, great support to the students, um, as well as um, help fulfil our own work in terms of mentoring and sharing our knowledge on the development of policy, particularly financial regulatory policy. We have had the opportunity to provide lectures and support students one-on-one -on -one with their projects. Myself, I was able to begin quite early on with providing all of the Capstone students with lectures about the, how to develop public policy, our experiences at the regulatory authority and looking at international organisations and how those um, standards and policies are made into the policy development process. Hello, my name is Karol Oretsky. I work in the policy department of the Qatar Financial Centre Regulatory Authority. I had the honour during the autumn to be invited to give lectures and one of the topics was sustainable finance. So I gave uh, practical aspects of the policy work and by um, listing all in international standards in the sustainable finance area and how, as a policy officer, we have to interpret it and implement it at national level. Um, the lectures end, ended with uh, Q&A sessions where students had the opportunity to ask questions and it was a, a debate about um, a good implementation in Qatar. My name is John Pine and I work on policy development in the Qatar Financial Centre Regulatory Authority. So one of the areas that uh, we worked on was looking at the question of smart contracts in the insurance sector uh, and the implications both for market participants uh, and financial regulators of this new technology coming down the track at all of us. The subject matter of the Capstone project smart contracts and insurance is part of the opportunities and challenges both for market participants and regulators coming from the wider application of new technologies to financial services. So in that sense the project was very timely. I had a really positive experience dealing with the student that I worked with. I hope he thinks the same. We had a very good exchange of ideas over several months. I can think of two benefits. One is that working with MPP students means that you are dealing with people who are not regulators and therefore can challenge your organization's preconceived ideas about issues. The second is that regulators are often preoccupied with the issues of here and now. Students may be more likely to look to the future, helping us to anticipate issues that are coming down the track.